Hey, what's up everybody? Jamie Bunn with Fish Blue Water, uh, actually here hanging out at the crib. Um, Mother Nature is not being too kind at us, uh, to us right now. Uh, we've got uh, 20 to 30 knot winds. Ocean is very angry, so not necessarily a great time to be offshore fishing uh, this week. So we thought it would be a good opportunity to bring uh, some rigging videos to you guys. And um, because we are in the, the spring season and getting close to the kickoff to all of our big summer tournaments and I've uh, been super pumped to see the, the teams and the anglers that have been getting out and sharing some of their catches online. The blackfin bite um, has been red hot lately. You know, plenty of big kings around, some nice dolphin being caught, and, you know, a handful of cobias, you name it. Fishing is great right now. And so uh, what I wanted to share with you guys is a little bit um, in terms of some rigging uh, tips on a, what I would describe as basically a titanium wire rig that um, a lot of your top tournament teams and professionals are utilizing um, in our tournaments and others. Um, I personally also use them fun fishing just because it's a great rig that is not as likely to um, be cut off by toothy fish or deal with kinking the same way you can with traditional wire. So um, this is actually what the rig looks like. Um, depending upon who makes the rig, you may see shorter versions, you may see longer versions. A lot of guys out of the kite like to fish them even as long as four feet, primarily because most of the gear uh, is above the surface of the water. So just to give you a quick kind of breakdown on what we've got here, I've already pre-cut, um, which typically this is, uh, I believe this is Terminator titanium wire. Uh, shout out to Matt White from OCD Fishing Team. They fish our tournaments. Uh, they also happen to have their own line of titanium called OCD titanium that I know a lot of the guys are fishing. Um, most all of it comes in standard, oops, excuse me, standard coils. And I've already opened those coils up um, and then I start to cut these into about uh, 40 inch lengths. My goal is typically to have about a, a three foot long wire rig when I'm all said and done. So there's your titanium wire. My go-to hook out of the kite bait is uh, a must add big gun uh, 6.0 hook. I've been fishing this hook for years. Absolutely love it. Um, one of the things that I like about it, it has actually you can see it in my hand here, the way it lays, an offset, which is particularly nice out of the kite. Um, that offset really is no issue in terms of circling back or doubling back on the bait most of the time. And uh, just really typically get great hook sets out of that big gun. Uh, it's available in other sizes as well. I like the 6.0 for an all around hook for my larger baits, uh, goggle eyes, blue runners, um, things of that nature. Uh, this is a swivel that we're going to use on both sides of the connection, uh, the hook side as well as the wire side. Um, super small swivel, you can see it here in my hand, um, but it's an 80 pound strength swivel uh, made by Spro. Um, been using those for years as well and they work fantastic. And then last but not least, these basically are the single sleeves um, that we use to finish off the connection um, to the hook as well as the snaps, excuse me, not the snap swivel, the barrel swivel uh, when we're making this rig. So you're gonna see here shortly how all of that comes together to make a finished rig that looks like this. So stand by and we'll get to the first step.
right, so we went through um, all of the components of the rig um, and the terminal tackle that you need to build it. Now we're gonna actually take you through the steps on how to do it. Um, one of the things I do wanna mention, uh, so this is 40 pound titanium that I have here. Uh, it's also available in 30 pound, 50 pound, uh, maybe even heavier. But I have found personally that 40 pound um, is an all around great size um, and uh, have caught everything from 40, 50 pound kings up to 80 pound wahoos right here, live baiting in South Florida on this particular weight titanium. So first step, we've got our 6.0 big gun hook. We're gonna take this titanium wire and we're gonna take one end just like so. And we're simply gonna form an overhand knot. That's it. We're gonna take that, we're gonna pull down like so with that knot. And I have these crimpers that we're gonna use here for the sleeves as well. But I'll also take the end of the crimpers to take that overhand knot and get it down just a little bit smaller. Again, and the reason for that is all about presentation. Um, you know, I like to really pay attention to the details and the cleaner that I can make the presentation with anything I put in the water, the better I feel, the more confident I am about getting the bite. So we've got our overhand knot, we've got our tag in there. Now we're gonna take that tag in, we're simply gonna go right back through the eye, so we can spin that. All we've done is flipped that overhand knot down to where it rides on the eye of the hook, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tag in like so, and I'm gonna go right back through the overhand, basically knot that I've created for the loop, the eye of the hook with my tag in. I pull it through and tight. And now you can see I basically have that portion completed as far as the hook in is concerned. Now there's some, there some guys, I mean, you can simply tie a knot with this. Um, and I'm sure there's plenty of, of folks that do that. Um, I don't care for it as much. I don't think it looks as clean. Um, you've got a tag in that you can have to deal with. This stuff is sharp. It ends up in your hands or your finger. You're not gonna be happy. But anyhow, I prefer the sleeve just because I feel it's a cleaner, um, a cleaner way to finish off this particular knot. But there's nothing else, there's nothing more that we're gonna do beyond that than to add this sleeve and crimp it off. I'll also tell you, um, while we're getting this sleeve down the wire, that the sleeve is, is for nothing more than, truthfully, appearance. Um, the sleeve is not where the strength at, is at in this particular rig. The strength is all in that connection we just created around the eye of the hook. Um, I like to use a number one crimp or sleeve because this is pretty thin wire. And uh, I like to make sure that when I get that crimp done and finished, that it's tight on there. But you should also know, and so next step here, we've got the sleeve down as I'm talking. Sleeve is, we slid it over the tag end, down the main line of the wire. Now I'm simply gonna take the open end of these crimpers, slide it right in there. Probably should have brought my old man reader's glasses for this. I'm gonna pull it down, make sure we're nice and snug. I'm gonna give it a squeeze, just like so. And there you have it. Now the only thing that I have to do is snip that tag in right there, right by the edge of the crimp. And we'll have a finished end of that hook in that rig. So stand by, we're gonna snip that in and then we're gonna move to the other side of the rig, which is where the swivel gets added on. All right, so as I said, uh, we're at the point now where we've got that tag in. Just need to take a pair of snips. I'm gonna snip it off like so. We're ready to go with the other side of the rig now. So we've added the hook, crimped it off, and now all we need to do is finish it off with 
the swivel. So because we're basically gonna tie the exact same knot on that swivel that we just did on the hook, uh, the first thing I've gotta do before I go through the barrel of that swivel with um, the wire is to slide my crimp that's gonna finish off that knot on down the wire. Here's my 80 pound spro that we talked about at the beginning of the video. We're gonna run, as I can stop that swivel from spinning, the end of the wire back through there. Same deal, overhand knot. We're gonna pull it down and grab the end of these pliers, make it easier to grab that wire. Cinch down on that overhand knot. Now again, we gotta take this tag in wire. We're gonna go right back through the swivel to spin that overhand knot so that the wrap is laying right on the swivel itself. This is the part that can get a little bit tricky, at least for me, and I, I think it's like anything else, the more you do it, um, practice makes perfect, the more comfortable you get it, you get at it, and that's in terms of taking that tag in now and running back through your overhand knot to finish it off. Uh, sometimes, particularly if your, your actual knot is a little smaller, it gets tough to get that, tougher to get that tag in, but I'm like I said, a little anal about the presentation, so I like to keep those wraps a little on the smaller side, but I've brought it all the way through. There's our tag in, which should look very similar to what you saw on the end of the hook. Now we're gonna let that crimp slide right down. We're gonna slide it right over the tag in and the wire itself, all the way down to the base of that overhand knot that we've created. And the final step here, second to final step, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna put it in our crimpers like so. Hold it down a little bit more, there we go. Squeeze. Got a nice, good crimped finish there. All I need to do, once again, go into that tag end, snip it off with my snips, and ta-da, we have ourselves, you probably, I don't know if I'm out of the frame here, but this is right at 36, 40 inch wire rig, crimped off on both sides with that knot that we just showed you. And again, as I said, this, this crimp on both sides is not the strength of this knot. It's in the wraps that we created on the swivel and the wraps that we created on the hook. Um, I've had occasions where I've fought good fish for long periods of time and that crimp actually slid off, but the knot still still stays, uh, excuse me, stays intact. So, um, but again, from a presentation standpoint, I think it looks better and it also prevents you from getting a sharp tag in stuck in your hand. So final step here is nothing more than a couple of loops. And I wrap the end around the rig and I'm ready to tuck it away in one of my rig bags and go catch a fish. So that's how you rig a titanium wire rig for these toothy critters out here in springtime, Wahoo, Kingfish, Tuna, and uh, Give it a shot. I think you will uh, you'll be pleased with the results. Till the next video, get out there and catch them up. Jamie Bunn from Fish Blue Water signing off.